And this is just a little simple sample of a really indie game that is actually really loud. There we go. That seems a little better. But a really indie game called The Bounty Deluxe Edition. I don't know why it's a deluxe edition. And if you're wondering why you can see the bar at the top, it's because I can't full screen it. It's just that indie and hardcore. So let's give it a sample. Story mode. Watch intro? Sure. The Bounty. Indie Game Studio X was on a mission. A mission to create the world's ultimate high score chasing video game. They thought that the only way to do it was to go all the way and pull knowledge from the most knowledgeable man on the subject. They needed Walter Day. Okay. So the team coerced Day to their studio. They hooked him up to their AI machine to read his brainwaves while they asked questions. But the machine malfunctioned. It pulled the intelligence and left the humanity behind, creating a sinister, devious AI with a world's knowledge of high score gaming. This is where you come in, playtester. Enter the bounty and defeat the game. Get the high score, beat the AI, and set Walter Day free. There's a premise for you. Enter the bounty. Oh, I don't have to actually hit anything. Welcome to the bounty. Please enter your name. Create save file. Yes. I have played a little bit previously. Not a whole lot. All right, let's just go ahead and save over that. Good. Competitive. Good luck, adventurer. Hey, welcome to the bounty. If this isn't your first time, you know what's up. Just do what you do and good luck. If you need me to go over the basics and how to play and all that jazz, let me know, alright? Yeah. So right away, it's not a great first impression. I do not know what's with these two characters here. Compared to my super blurry self. I don't know why you would do that to a game. This is the worst first impression you can give a game. I don't like to be negative, but... This is honestly the worst first impression I've gotten from a game, ever. Are you sure you'd enter the bounty? Yes. Super blurry, exit, go! Episode 1. Alright, and the objective, basically just to get as many points as possible. Three potions, and not die. That's pretty useful too. Alright, so let's go. I have a score of 50 and HP of 350. Welcome to your first puzzle. So I'll continue and earn points. Take your time and think. You only get one shot. I honestly wonder if they're serious with that. Because this is the first puzzle in every game you have ever played. Ever. Puzzle complete. You earn know, points. You get points for it, so... Of course it is still like a tutorial. In fact, ha ha spot the difference. One of these things is not like the others. Found a basic jeweler's kit. Found a hundred gold. Found a crystal. Change the way things look. Um, ah, it's a make the game ugly item. Ugly-er. Plain. Now, one thing I noticed the few times I've played it is that the challenges don't really change. It doesn't seem like it, at least. It's not like a roguelike where every single time you go through, there's differences. It seems like the idea is just you keep playing it, doing better each time. And granted, that's a lot like the old like Atari games and stuff that where you focused on score. But doing it in an RPG, I don't know. Actually, no. I've played an RPG like this. I actually played a game called ORPG a long time back. Short sword. 
I'd have a sword and shield. Uh, oh! Green crud. Oh, crud. I am victorious! And I am poisoned! And I have an antidote! I'm no longer poisoned! Welcome to RPGs, kids! But yeah, my impression of this game, it's an inter interesting idea. I haven't played enough to really get a big sense of it. The idea of a RPG where the idea is just perfect your run through, do things as efficiently as possible, is interesting. But I don't know, I feel like there's something you have to be very careful of when it comes to a game with a score. And that's, why can't I, I know there's like things I can light in this room, why can't I find them? I've been through this room before. Why can't I find the things to light? Did I forget something? Did I miss something? Flint kits. Oh, that's what I needed. It doesn't help that you can't see in the dark. Yeah, I actually have played another game that did that. It was called ORPG. But it was... Made with an RPG maker. I actually don't know if this was made in an RPG maker. But that one was. And it was actually a lot bigger. With like a big story and a, bun a bunch of different little scenarios. That kind of came out of nowhere. Unavoidable. I slain the bat. Slain the bee bat. It's actually about as far as I've made it. Is this room right here? Maybe there are random elements, because I swear last time I ran into this weird character there who looked like something from Undertale. That didn't happen this time. That's interesting. Maybe there are random elements. Maybe I'm just completely wrong. And this floor looks like something special. Maybe not. Kill the green crud. Yeah, and I really feel like any game that wants you to... Um, any game that wants you to go for a score should really cut down on random elements like critical hits. Uh, I don't know what the puzzle was, but I completed it. Yay! The puzzle is no more. I have no idea what that accomplished. Nothing changed in the room. Oh! This opened. This must be like a secret area. It sure is. Mysterious powder. Crystal. Gold. Gold. Alright. If your vision causes an error in the program, there may be something to be found that could be reached before. So, basically, blurry textures equal secret door. Gotcha! My HP is getting low. In fact, well, I can probably take on one more. Do I want to risk it? It's kind of permadeath, so maybe I shouldn't. Power up. Power up. Power! Oh, not the power! Always go for attack, or health. First left, then right. But one chance to get it right. Oh, so this straight up gave me the clue. Gave me the answer there. That's not even a clue. That's just the answer to the puzzle. Left and right. That is an amazing orc. I'm glad I used that orb. Dang. Oh, crap. I should have used my fire scroll. Uh, potion. 
I think he actually does more damage. Any damage, he does. Hope he dies. He didn't. Oh. I have fallen. Final score, 1172. Hasune Miko just mocked me. All right, let's give it one more try. Now, once you get into the game, I don't know why the character looks like this. I mean, the world looks okay enough, but the character... It doesn't even look like it belongs here. I know that there's a lot of people complaining in the world now. A lot in the gaming industry and community talking about palettes. Uh, not palette swaps. Asset flips. And I don't think this is that necessarily. But it's still not exactly cohesive. I don't know why this blurry mess of a character is in this pixel world. It doesn't make sense to me. From a visual standpoint. Those two bodybuilder guys in the beginning are just way out. Oh. The bracelet's different than it was before. It was a shield bracelet earlier. So maybe there is some randomization going on. That would be cool. I didn't even recognize the chests. They don't look like other chests. I didn't do anything. There's all these glitchy looking spots here. I thought they might be doors. But I guess not. See, it teaches me something and then immediately abandons it. Alright. Back here again. We have more health. We won't pass beyond this point. And this time, I am forewarned enough to use my fire scrolls. Much better. Nice. Yeah, I wasn't getting away from that. Sometimes eradication brings the spoils. So, kill them all. Eradication has brought the spoils. Not really much of a puzzle. But success anyway! Yay! I think I'll use a couple potions, actually. There you go. Actually, use my resources. I never use potions in RPGs. Found a soul lore. Spikes won't hire you as long as they are not moving. That's a lot of points. Now, well, let's go for it. Uh. from the boulder or the spikes? So if I'm not fast enough, the spikes just auto-kill me? Is that what that was? And then skip all the dialogue boxes. Well, I guess I can skip the room by clicking a lot, but... The fact that they keep popping up is kind of annoying. Maybe they're turn-offable? Let's see. Options. There's a dash. I know what dash is. How do I dash? Oh, there we go. That's much better. Yeah, it's a shield bracelet this time. So there must be random elements. Just not many, I guess. Maybe just chest contents are random and nothing else is. Which is alright. It forces you to change your style compared on what you find. There he is. Duffy has an owie. Can he have a potion? You have potion. Thank you. That's much better. Victory! You received a solo orb at 500 points. Yeah, that's the kid I was talking about before. So there are like little cool random incidents like that. I was sure that was a bet. Okay, this time I'm going to save. I don't care. Uh, well, too, I guess. 
So yeah, I had to run through that. If I didn't, I would have just died. That's crazy. High scroll buckler. Oh, I'm outside. Hello, adventurer. New moon, is it? Well, you best not go this way. This forest of wonders, you'll not be making it out. The lower path is much safer, new moon. Either way, your choice. I warned you. Hmm. To trust or not to trust? Let's do what he says. Purple. You've got one chance to solve the light's dance. There's gotta be a clue somewhere. We found a war hammer. Light short sword. Plus four. Holy crap. Oh, I guess that'll unequip my buckler. Let's go with the light short sword. Warhammer might be better. I'll be one-shotting stuff. Hopefully. Dungeon key. Okay. Welcome to the grinder. This is a chance to earn some extra points, but be wary. It may be the end for you. Do you wish to try or bypass it and continue on your quest? Should you wish to test your valor, enter through the large wooden gate. Found a bolt scroll, antidote, potion. I really don't care that much about points right this second. I just want to see what the game's like. Electrolysis scroll. That's a really randomly specific kind of scroll. Stuns all enemies for up to three turns. Ah, oh, okay. Oh, maybe I can use my jeweler's kit now. Fuse three crystals? Sure. We forged a W crystal. Yay! Ah! Oh, really? Oh. New moon is flatter than a pancake. We await your return, adventurer. Final score, 2,187 points. And I assume my saved file will still be at that point. Yes, it will. Alright, well, I think that'll do for me on the bounty. It's an interesting little game. It's not a bad idea. But I think there's definitely some improvements that could be made. Like the graphics are a little wonky. Controls are fine. I think it could use more random elements is my big critique just based on what I've played of it. Who knows, maybe I'm completely wrong. Maybe there's like thousands of different permutations of everything that goes on. Doesn't seem like it, but it could be. Man. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't say not to check it out, but... This is what I've played. I'm not even sure what to call it. It's kind of... Hmm. I would really have to play a lot more, I think. Just run through as many different randomizations as I can. Because it doesn't seem like there's that many randomizations. Each run kind of blends into the last. Which makes sense because it's sort of an optimization focused game. It's not about reacting to it as much as perfecting it. Which again is kind of strange for an RPG. Well, I guess that's what RPGs are usually like, but... They have, like, old Final Fantasies in them. The same thing every time. But at least those have a story to come back to and experience. Great characters to keep bringing you back. Make you a member for the rest of your life. It's an interesting game. I'll call it that. Definitely worth checking out if you're into oddities and curiosities. And that'll do for me. 
And that was a simple sample of the Bounty, the Lux Edition. I don't know what's Lux about it, but it is. And I'll see you next time. Later.